with breaking news, power of five weather, and the largest investigative team. This is News Channel 5 at noon on your side. Not in my backyard. Electronics. Also, a Lakewood mom has got all the right moves and she wants to share them with you. She's a personal trainer who knows the right way to do those crunches before swimsuit season. And we're happy to have a Cleveland judge here with us today, along with from a local school. Straight ahead, we'll get a look at the right way and the wrong way for some moves to whittle your middle. But first, Wall Street looking good so far. Well, bathing suit season is just around the corner, and if you're trying to flatten your belly a little bit, you have to make sure you've got the right moves and that mechanically you're doing things correctly. Personal trainer Liz Guscott from Lakewood is here to show us the right and the wrong way to tighten our middles. And boy, this is a big area of concern, I think, for just about all of us, isn't it? It sure is. Thanks for having me. Um, what we want to think about with regards to uh, training our midsections and especially flattening them down is to watch our nutrition and particularly the calorie consumption, the amount of calories you're taking in. In addition to that, it's the calorie output, which is the activity right, or the exercise. Right. You don't want to do more taking in than you are outputting. And if I understand things correctly, the, the more that you involve your core and your big muscle groups, the more you're going to burn calories and fat, right? Well, in, in a sense, yes. I mean, with regard to the best kind of exercise for trimming up the midsection, um, definitely cardiovascular, which can be done in short burst intervals or long segments of sustained you know, upper level heart rate. But we could have a whole segment on that, you know, alone. <laughs> right. Um, Let's but, take a look at some of these moves. You've got the first one, you're calling it the four point. Now, what is that? The four point is just another way of being on all fours. Um, this position itself, this, uh, this picture is showing you the wrong way to do it. What's wrong about it? The wrong it? way is that the back is not really flat. It's kind of humped and the neck is down. You want to align your hands under each shoulder, your knees under each hip joint so your back stays nice and straight. Um, what you do with these, when you start out with this exercise is you inhale and you let your belly drop down. The belly is big. It's okay um, with this exercise. You want to draw that air into the lower lungs. You exhale. You cinch the waist up ni nice and tightly. That's what this picture shows. On the exhale. On the exhale. You want to go for a 10-second exhale, which will help slow the breathing down. It'll improve spinal stability and alignment with your rib cage and your hips. It's a fantastic basic exercise. So you're just basically releasing and then tightening up your abdominal muscles. Right. Specifically, position. you're working the transversus abdominis, which is the muscle that's closest to the viscera or the organs within your body. Okay. It's a very basic exercise. Anybody can do it laying down, sitting up, um, on, you know, standing. And this is the bicycle. Yes, and this shows you the wrong way to do the bicycle where the, the elbows are kind of up toward the ceiling and the knees go past the hips toward the face. You probably see people do this exercise at the gym. They do it right. way too fast. Okay. This is how we slow it down. Um, this is the wrong way back to the center. You know, the, the elbows are up, the, the, the knees are too close into the face. Um, and I think they'll probably show another one. Again, the knees coming in too close. Um, and again, if you work this one too quickly, you are not getting the benefit of the muscle strain that you need. You start out on this exercise on, you, on your back. You keep your elbows out. And this um, is almost a right angle with your hip and your That's correct. Thighs, right? But you want to align the knees right over the hip joint, and they don't go any further past your hip towards your face. This is where they stop. Okay, and so then what you're going to do in this position is what? You, you inhale from here, and then you get ready for the second position, which is you lift up toward the torso, and you, you twist over to one side. In this case, twisting over to the right, you release your left leg, and you extend it out. You're working the front of the, of the stomach and the sides of the waist with this exercise, so it's a double whammy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's as far as you need to lift the upper part of your, your shoulders off the That's exactly mat. right. The big thing is making sure the elbows are out so that you're actually working the waist muscles and you're not working the shoulder. Okay, you don't want to be lifting your, your head up with your hands and your That's arms. correct. You never want to crane your neck or pull on your neck with your hands. You've got to keep the hands around the ears. Now, what kind of uh, repetition do you need to do with these, these moves to see some difference? Well, depending on your fitness level, it may be a little different. Um, for somebody who's a beginner, it may be a strain just to get five or eight in. Um, but ideally, you know, 12 to 15 repetitions. If they start to get easy, this is the trick, an insider's you know, tip here. Change your repertoire with your abdominal strength training about every couple of weeks. They're muscles that get so used to exercise and movement that we have to constantly train them in different ways. All right. We have a link to Liz's website on ours, Newsnet 5. 
in the place where you always find guest links. That uh, also, NewsNet 5 senior editor Darlene Dunn wrote an entire story titled "Lifestyle Changes for Flat Abs," and you'll find that in our health section today. Liz, thanks very much for being here with us today. Thanks for all having right. me. We all have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Let's go back to Alicia. Yes, we do. All right, we have more guests ahead and more news.